Hello, Moon Babies. It's your Mama Witch, Angela Mary. How are you? I'm so happy to see you today for a fun Moon Tarot Hangout session. We are going to use a pick a card or a mini session. It's totally up to you and depending on what you need today. You can choose the spiral, the star, or the open triangle, which is my logo. You can also use this as a mini session, which is you, the atmosphere around you, and a skill you can acquire. I have so much fun with Moon Tarot over on my channel. I just love it. It gives me the agency to speak from my 30 years experience as a tarot reader, as a lifelong witch. I just love sharing the beauty and power of witchcraft. I do Moon Tarot for all 12 Zodiac signs in a live stream every Friday at 1230 Pacific because I'm here in California and you're all welcome to join. It's a beautiful coven community ritual. We also cast a spell every single Friday. This Friday we're casting a spell to appreciate the seeds of midwinter and nurture and care for ourselves and find the joy and the fun as our moon is waxing right now. So it's the waxing crescent moon. I'm getting ready to head down to the beach right now for a sunset. I'll be posting on my Instagram some really beautiful live moments where you can see that gorgeous waxing crescent moon with Venus just above. It's just gorgeous right now with not a cloud in the sky, so we should have a really beautiful view. So I'm happy to see you all. I hope to see you on Fridays for that live stream. And I really hope to see all of you for every single full moon. Every full moon I do a live stream here. And that is my commitment to this coven for the entirety of 2020. I'm really excited because come October is the Witches Confluence, which just announced that they'll be uh, creating the fabulous Modern Witches Confluence in San Francisco at the San Francisco County Fair Building in Golden Gate Park, which is stunningly beautiful on Halloween and the day after. It's two days this year. So somehow, some way, I'll be casting my spell, which is in the Many Moons Lunar Planner 2020. All of those full moons with different contributors, I will be casting those spells here live on my YouTube channel. So somehow I will make that happen at the Modern Witches Confluence. And I certainly hope that I'll see you there live. If not, Fear not, I will create space for your experience and weave you into that experience for I love to be the body for this work to flow through. Speaking of which, we start our sessions the same every time by striking a wooden match and lighting a candle to alert our spirit guides that we're here, we're open, we're listening, and we're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us. I have a second candle that I light specifically for a blessing that I give out in my very seasoned witch's form and body to all of you that believe in my magic and have chosen to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, just know that it keeps me healthy and strong and I love and appreciate my subscribers and pray for you daily, especially whenever I create these videos for you. Today we have in honor of this waxing crescent moon and midwinter, a stress relieving candle. So this is a gorgeous aroma of basil and mint. And I just urge you to create recipes and brews that use mint and basil right now because they're so good for you. So stress relieving, they brighten your mood, which is so important that you fortify yourself. Are we ready? Here's our pick a card for the day with Mystic Mondays. I love this deck so much by the wonderful creatrix Grace Duong. I will link this down in the description of this video so you know exactly where to get this. Grace has a fabulous app that is a wonderful free app that you can download if you would like to see what your Mystic Mondays tarot card of the day is. Grace is an ama amazing artist and a tarot genius and creates um, color magic with their deck. And you'll see that in just a moment. So you can choose the spiral, the star, or the open triangle for pick a card, or you can have a mini session, a mini moon tarot session, because this is you, the atmosphere around you, and a skill you can acquire. So let's begin by breathing deeply in through our nose. Release your shoulders and your breath with your open lips. Say, Ma. And lift.
literally pet your body in any way you can. Breathe deeply in through your nose and release through your open lips, say ma. The next full moon spell that we'll be creating is again from that mist, from the many moons lunar planner of 2020. And it's using mystical mandrake roots ritual. It's beautiful. I will link them and their gorgeous Instagram account in the description of this video. You must follow them on Instagram and I'm very much welcoming them to join us for the live stream that we're creating on February 8th. So my loves, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna do it all? Are you gonna pick a card? And are you going to enjoy the mini moon tarot session? Let's get started. The first card with the spiral represents you, or you may have chosen this card. It's the wheel of fortune. Look at this wheel of fortune reminding us that the world turns and spins and change is literally the one constant. That change of birth and death and everything in between. It's just constantly moving. And that's why I adore the framework that my lunar witchcraft practice provides me because there's eight phases of the moon every month or month. And it gives me that framework, this knowing that the wheel of fortune reminds us change is all we have. If you've chosen this card, realize that there's possibly a way that change gives you discomfort, but to place yourself right at that center, the bindu point, and allow the change to also spoke out from you and the energy to find you in the center. Instead of being whipped and wobbled at the edges of that change, be in your calm center, as this is the terms of our life. Find the fun in that. I hope you like that. Isn't that a gorgeous card? The next card beneath the star is the Five of Swords. I love this interwoven and interlocking swords of many colors that shows this you know, the classic description of this card shows some conflict. And inside of this right now, I think that you can realize that every point of view matters and creates our tapestry and it creates our world that we live in. Um, the Five of Swords, if you've chosen this star card, I kind of love that there's a star and this five-pointed star of the Five of Swords is showing you, see every point of view in this argument. If for no other reason, just to fortify yourself with knowing what these people's possible moves are. Um, you've got to fortify yourself with what everyone's truth is. And then maybe, 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 Focus on what it is that you can do to create a softer, enlivened center where you exist, all right? You've got to illuminate your point of view and then release any attachment to outcome. I hope that works for you, sweetie. So if this is the mini reading, the Wheel of Fortune is you accepting change. The atmosphere around you is possible conflict with a way that you need to illuminate your point and also really take some time to see what the point is of the other folks that are in this conflict. And then if you've chosen this triangle card, our final card is the judgment card. I love the colors in this judgment card. The judgment card reminds us, you know, that we have to reflect and we have to evaluate what's happening in our life because that constancy of change, because the way that we navigate conflicts, we've got to take the time to be reflective and evaluate the next moves and then really plant your feet and make a great judgment call. So if this is the mini reading for you, this is the skill you need to acquire to be calm and reflective. Then plant both your feet on the ground if you have a body that's able to do that. If not, energetically seat yourself with balanced weight and make a good, strong choice with all the information you have. Oh, I hope you like this pick a card. It's just a happy little mini reading for you all. 
I love, love what's happening on my YouTube channel over here, and I adore this coven community. Thank you so much for being here, and I'm going to hop down and check out that waxing crescent moon over the water now with Venus up top for the sunset. So loving you all, and I'll see you Friday for our live stream. Sending you all my love and magic, and please remember that magic is your birthright, and everything's a spell. This is my spell. Night, night, you all. Love you.